So today I will finally be taking a look at the Acor ACR Pro Ellis Plus. This is the white spray painted version. There are a lot of versions out there but today I'll be taking a look at this one. So as you guys can see it is a gasket mounted keyboard and the box looks really nice. Let's take a look around the box. On the front of the box right here we can see again the Echo logo and their website. And on the back of the box we can see the name of the keyboard again and the outline for the Ellis Plus. It looks pretty nice and I'm really excited to try it out. And on the top right here we can see all of their social media and to go to their website to download the software and the version I have right here has the crystal linear switch inside and I'm so excited to try these switches out. Now let's unbox it and see what we get in the box. So there's mainly two parts in the box, let's just take out the smaller box and see what's included first. So in that small little box, you get a lot of accessories. Let's go through it one by one. So one of the first accessories you get are these feet. So you can see that it has 3M tape on the back. So you can stick it on the back of the keyboard if you want to increase the height of it. And it has two heights. You can see you can open up the small little feet right here. Let me just open it up. So this is the smaller height. It has a rubber nib right here. And this is the taller height. So if you want it to be higher, you just stick it at the back again and then it will just work just fine. Second accessory included is actually this koi cable, so it's not like a made from paracord or has a connector, aviator connector. It's just a normal koi cable, so it's made out of full rubber and it's of course echo branded and it looks pretty good in my opinion and the spring is pretty okay. It's a budget board so this is a pretty good thing that's already included. And in this plastic you get an allen key to unscrew the keyboard with and you also get this switch puller. I really like this kind of switch puller, it's much more easier to use. And in this other bag you also get the echo keycap puller, a daughter board actually and all of the gaskets and rubbers for the keyboard. And of course you also get all of the keycaps right here, these are ASA double shot PBT keycaps. So these are all the remaining keycaps that you can use to fit onto the keyboard. You get extra blue ones right here and you get the remaining white ones and of course all of the function keys or smaller keys right here. Now we can take a look at the bottom part of the keyboard right here. It's covered in foam but it's basically the keyboard and some stuff. I'll just take it out right now. And of course with the keyboard you'll get the user manual right here. It has a lot of uh, important stuff inside. It covers all of the hotkeys for Windows and Mac. It tells you your system commands and of course the backlight settings. And of course how to customize the lighting and key effects but you have to download the software from their website. And in this package you get two more extra stuff. I believe one is a sticker for the keyboard which you can place inside the keyboard if you want to. And you also get this piece of foam, I believe it's PE foam and it sits at the back of the PCB to help with sound dampening. So if you want to use it, you can just put it into the case. Finally, let's take a look at the ACR Pro Alice Plus. So this is how the keyboard looks like in front. So this is an ACR Pro, so it's basically the same acrylic but it's spray painted in white and this is the cost the Alice Plus layout. Basically it's like an Ariso layout so it's an ergonomic kind of split layout and I really like it. I've been using these kind of layouts for quite some time and it really does help with your hands. Overall it looks pretty nice and the spray painted white version right here looks pretty nice and it has like a matte texture to it. And pre-installed on the keyboard is the double shot PBT keycap so this is the white and blue variant. Looks pretty nice to me and if overall it fits the look really nicely. This is what the front of the keyboard looks like, there's no branding whatsoever, it's just this matte white look to it. And on the top it looks the same but we have the USB Type-C connector on the right hand side and the whole thing is just matte white, really nice, it doesn't really show any fingerprints. And this is the side profile of the keyboard. As you guys can see, it is a little bit flat. That's why they give the included feet so you can stick it on the back to increase the height. It is kind of flat with this ACR design, but you can see the ASA profile keycaps like this. And this is the back of the keyboard. We can see all of the screws holding it in place. And we have two big rubber feet on top and three small ones on the bottom to help with elevation and to keep the keyboard in place. And in the middle, you can see this steel plate, which is actually covered in a really nice echo sticker. And on the bottom right, we can see the Echo ACR Pro Alice Plus logo and name. And I just plugged the keyboard in and this is how the RGB looks like. It looks pretty good from the front, although it's not that bright. And on the back, you can actually can't see any of the shine through because the case is already spray painted white. Now let's take a look at the switches inside and the stabilizers included. So the switches included in this keyboard are called the Echo CS Crystal Switch. And I actually chose these switches because I want to try it out. 
You guys can see overall it has a really clear look and hence the name it's crystal and it's a linear type switch. It has an actuation force of 43 grams and it has a total travel of 4 millimeters. It also includes a 18 millimeter long spring inside and it feels pretty smooth out of the box but it's actually unlooped. And on the back you guys can also see that it is 3 pin hot swap and there is actually a cutout for the RGB LED. And as for the stabilizers, I believe these are actually the new echo stabilizers that they produce themselves. So these are actually some normal plate mounted steps which are pretty good in my opinion and I got the pink variant and they do come factory looped already so I think there's a little bit of loop on the stems and wires. Now let's open up this keyboard and see what we get in this keyboard kit. So opening it up was pretty easy, all you have to do was just unscrew all of the screws at the back and you can lift the top part up. But my version had some glue on the side so I actually had to pop it up pretty hard but I would advise you to be careful with it because it is actually acrylic. So again you have the top part right here which is actually the frame of the keyboard and then you actually have this. So this is basically a sandwich of the PCB, some form in the middle and the plate. It is quite a flexible plate and I pretty like this one and the gaskets on the side are also pretty good in my opinion. And you have a little daughter board right here and this is basically the acrylic case which is blank. So for the gasket strips, you actually can change up the longer bigger ones for the smaller ones right here if you want more flex and bounce for the plate. And this is what the PCB looks like. It's actually white in color and it has purple hot swap sockets which are actually made by CIY and I think they look pretty good and overall they function really well. Really nice looking PCB and as you guys can see again, there's the foam included and then you have your plate right here and the switches and steps sit on top of it. And all I'll be adding is actually just this form into the case to help with sound dampening. I'm just going to place it in and we can screw everything back together and we can take a look at the software. So there's actually no specific software for this keyboard but all you have to do is just head over to Echo's website and download the software. The software you have to download is called the Echo Cloud Software, not any others, they have no specific one for this keyboard. And in the software you can configure up to 4 different modes for your keyboard and change up the macros. And you can also customize the lighting from the software like change up the brightness or what it does. But I'll admit there's actually not much you can do in the software. Besides that you can also make up new macros in the software or just import macros you have made before. And of course you can also update the firmware and software of the keyboard from the application. Now let's move on to the typing sound test and see how this keyboard sounds like stuck. So from tapping on it, I would say the experience is pretty good especially with this ergo layout and I think that the bounce on this keyboard is pretty good. And if you want it to be more flexible and more bouncy, I recommend taking out the form in the case and switching out the gasket for the smaller nibs. But from the typing sound test, you can actually hear that this keyboard doesn't sound that good because it's actually an acrylic build and it's kind of hard to make this keyboard sound poppy or talky. But if you don't really care about the sound and you're looking for a budget ergo layout, this is a pretty good way to go especially priced at this price range. Nothing is really competing with it and it has also a lot of features going for it. 
overall i really like what echo is doing and in this package you also get a whole lot of stuff for you to customize it with and of course there's also other colors and options out there so you can feel free to take a look around in the links in the description below and of course, I want to say a huge thank you to Echo for sending this keyboard over for me to take a look at. And I also believe that Echo is having a special code or voucher for you guys. So head down into the description below if you're interested in getting this keyboard. So yeah, that is it for this video guys. Leave a like on this video if you liked it. Dislike this video if you didn't like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I have even more content like this coming real soon. And as always, thanks for watching. Goodbye guys.